I find just turtles really interesting, just the way they move, the, the, the head movements, the characteristics of them underwater, just that they're always busy. So I just really love watching them do their thing, you know, as opposed to other reptiles I work with like snakes, just sit there. And you know, they, they're amazing creatures on their own, but I just like the activity. So that's what I think attracts me to turtles because I also like fish. So the two sort of work really well together. So the Bellinger River turtle is a turtle found on the mid-north coast. Um, it's a special turtle because it's only found in the river systems of the Bellinger River. So that's what makes it so special to us. You know, it's found nowhere else in the world. And we're really fortunate to be able to work with this turtle and try and save its future. So a big part of my job is caring for these Bellinger River turtles. The majority of my day is based around them. They're, they're my priority. Um, that's what I'm assigned to do pretty much on every day. So, you know, out of a seven hour day or so, I'm probably with them for five so hours you know I have lunch and I have morning tea and then I'm pretty much around them so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a turtle person <laughs> when we first got the Bellinger turtles you know not really knowing what was going on but to, to breed them the first time to get eggs I, I just remember being so excited and how you know I couldn't really handle the eggs I had to give them to someone else to weigh and measure because I was so excited but I think that first time they hatched knowing that we've just hatched a species that's pretty much gone in the wild. So getting them to breed, I think having them hit the water for the first time swimming around, these little baby turtles like you know, a two dollar coin size, to me that's like the biggest tick ever. Um, yeah, I think that's probably one of my highlights of, of my zoo career. I just, it's really special. All I could advise for, for you know, kids or people that want to get more involved in turtles or any, any of our wildlife and help is you know, just to be aware if you see something that's not right to report it and that's how we save you know, got to save these turtles. People reported what wasn't normal. They went to national parks and notified authorities that they were finding, you know, unwell turtles. So that prompted us to all get involved to, to help save these animals. So, you know, just being vigilant, um, not taking from the wild, not releasing pets back into the wild because, you know, you may have a pet and you release it into the wild because you don't want any more. You run the risk of spreading disease. So that's always a big risk.